Hey guys, what's up? Commander here. Welcome to my uh, NXT TakeOver Rival Predictions video. This is going to be epic. We all know this is going to be epic. But uh, let me go into detail over each match and what have you. And I just watched SmackDown and WWE Superstars. It was uh, pretty brutal. After last week's SmackDown, the live SmackDown, it was really good, I thought. And then this week, it was just shit, really. Like, I was just... Like, after an hour, I was just really bored. Like, and then... When I tried to watch Superstars, I was just so bored after SmackDown, I just couldn't really get into it. Anywho, well, the be I would say the best part of SmackDown that was probably on Superstars would have been Adam Rose doing the th the fall thing, and then the all the Rose buds like fell down, and then Adam Rose went wild. That's probably the best bit. Anywho, let's go on to the matches. So I was just reading a comment on a, on a site, and somebody f feels like this one was kind of rushed. Um. Pro every other one has been like three months in between. This one was only two months, so maybe that's why I thought I sort of felt that as well. It was maybe a little bit, it seemed a little bit closer together. Um, but it'll deliver because that's what NXT does. You know, the main roster doesn't. NXT does. Fact. Um, let's just get straight to it. First match we got Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens for the NXT Championship. Been a great uh, build to this. You know, simple. Yeah, effective. Something Vince wouldn't know about. Um, and I feel like... I've got this feeling that Kevin Owens is going to win it. He's only had like two matches. And I think he's going to win it. And like, I think Sami Zayn's going to have like a long struggle back to get the title. Maybe like it'll be like two two more events. Like if they have them every three months, I could see him maybe regain in a couple of, of events. Like a peer review special, whatever they're calling them. Or, you know, maybe just in a random episode of NXT, but which I didn't think would happen, but then there was the tag team titles were won on a couple of weeks ago. They won on a regular episode of NXT, which was pretty cool. Um but I think this this match will be epic. It just will be epic, you know? I'm I don't even I could bet all my money on it and you know what I'd win because it will be. It just will be. NXT is just amazing. Every single thing they've had, awesome. This will be no different. It will be better than the Royal Rumble. <laughs> okay, I think we all know that. Um, and it will definitely be better than Fastlane. Without a doubt. And I'd say it'll be better than most of WrestleMania too. Sure, WrestleMania will have some good moments, but I'm sure this will be better than most of it. Most of it. That's my prediction. Um, but I'm going with Kevin Owens to win it in a pretty insane, brutal match. Um, maybe we see Kevin Owens' package pile driver, which I see I seen it on the YouTube when it, like when I heard somebody talking about it I looked it up and I was like, Oh my brother. It looks really wild. Um anyways, next match. This will be a good one too. It's Charlotte versus Sasha Banks, who I love, versus Bailey versus Becky Lynch and a fatal four way for the NXT women's championship. This will be a great match. Great, great match. All these guys are good. Especially Sasha Banks. Like I love Sasha Banks. I think she's like one of the one of the best. Probably the best on XT in my opinion. Um like ever since she turned heel in like I think it was like late twenty thirteen. Um she just like found herself. Like her character's brilliant, her promos are excellent. And she can wrestle. <gasps> I know, shocker. She can actually wrestle. Something you wouldn't think of uh, if you just watched the main roster of WWE. The woman can't actually wrestle. And Sasha Banks is amazing. She really is. Um, but I think I said it the last couple of times that, that, oh, this is Charlotte's time to lose, or this is Charlotte's time to lose. This does seem like a better time for her to lose it. Um, and I think, uh, I don't know, Bailey is kind of like the Sami Zayn of the, of the, of the, like, the divas, or the, well, the woman on NXT. Maybe she could win it. I don't know, but I, th I think Sasha Banks should win it, she's just, she's just so good, you know. I'm going to go out and say Sasha Banks to win it, okay. Now, the next one, we have Buddy Murphy and Wesley Blake, who are now uh, just going as Murphy and Blake or something, I don't know. I th I'm not sure if they've like officially dropped their first names, but or if that's just like for the team name, I don't know. But it's, they're going as Murphy and Blake now. I'd, I don't know, it's weird. But they became the tag champs a couple of weeks ago, defeating the Lucha Dragons, Kalisto and Sin Cara. Um, but th that's, it's a rematch, them two versus Lucha Dragons. Um, I think we all know M Murphy and Blake will win this one. If they lost, it'd be kind of weird. Um, 
there was a rumour thing on this week on Callisto, apparently getting a gay hairstylist gimmick. Yeah. And the, the fan reception was uh, n negative, to say the least. I'll leave it at that. Um, I, I just... I, can't, I don't know, when I first heard it, I was like, oh my god, but then I kind of want to see what, what, it, what actually would happen. Because... Like it'd probably just be like, like a, like it would be camp or something, you know. That I think that's what it really means. But then, but I don't know. I'd be interested to see what it was actually all about. Um, some people say, no, if you're gonna go with a gay thing, why not give it to Darren Young or something like that? Just, uh, I don't know. I, I just feel that's just gonna lead to a lot of backlash from not the, like fans, but you know. All their bloody sponsors and blah, 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 all that crap, you know, all that crap that shouldn't really matter. Um, but I'm Buddy Murphy in that to win. He'll win it. Um, maybe they should come up for a name for Murphy and Blake. I don't know. Um, but I think it'll be a good match. Now, another match will be awesome. Adrian Neville versus Finn Balor in the finals of the NXT tournament for the number one contendership for the NXT Championship. Now, this has been this has been a good little tournament. It's been pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Adrian Neville beat Baron Corbin this past week thanks to Bull Dempsey, which I'll talk about in a little bit in a little minute. And Finn Balor beat Hideo Tami in a really good match. Um, fast paced, you know, a lot of like Matt wrestling, just you know, not sitting in rest holes for ten minutes, you know, like Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins, you know, two great wrestlers, but they're forced to rest holds and bull crap. Vince Logic. Um, but Finn Balor and Hideo had a great match and um, there was this drop kick that was sick. Finn hit this drop kick on Hideo and Hideo went flying into the into the turnbuckle. It looked so brutal. It looked like he like messed up his head or what have you. It was just freaking brutal. Um, but eventually like Finn won with like his foot stomp thing, which while a good move, uh, I feel is just gonna lead to injuries or, or somebody getting like seriously hurt, which is an injury. Um, but you know what I mean, like somebody coming down like 200 pounds or whatever, how much he weighs, like right onto their stomach or their chest or shoulders, whatever the hell they decide to land on them. I just, it just seems just gonna lead to an injury, you know. Um, but I'm sure Finn versus Adrian will be will be amazing. It'll get a lot of time, just like Sammy and Kevin Owens. Same with the, the women's, they'll get a decent a decent amount of time. Um, and it's only two hours, you know, and there's these matches that could, could last, f that could last for ages, you know. Um, but anyways, I think this is Finn. It's time to win. Um, and he'll have the face paint again. It's good that he saved it just for this, like the special events. I think that's a a, a good thing to do. Um, will it, I don't know if he'll have different. I don't know if it's gonna be different every time or just the, the same again. Um, the only thing it means is releasing a new T-shirt and what have you, and everything, every like pay-per-view or whatever. I, I, like, I don't know. I don't know how how they'll do it. Because um, the T-shirts for Finn and Kevin Owens, the last one sold out like ridiculously fast. <laughs> Anywho, Finn to win. Next one is Baron Corbin versus Bo Dempsey in a no disqualification match, um, which hopefully means there's going to be some weapons. But there would be, you know, they say no disqualification, and then they never use weapons. Just so stupid. Um, but I think Baron will probably win this. Um, he did well. He did lose to Adrian Neville, so I don't know. Um, but I think Baron will probably win this one. This is kind of like the. Like, because I haven't really seen anything, you know, from these guys. Like, I can't say that this will be a great match, but it'll probably be okay. Um, I'll say Baron will win. I do love his finisher. His finisher, the, the end of days, is just, it's just epic. Like, I remember when I first seen it. It was just, it was just awesome. Truly awesome. Um, but I'll go with Baron to win. Um, next one. Well, the next one, if it happens, I don't know if it's gonna happen. It hasn't been officially announced. But Tyler Breeze versus Hideo Itami. Um, maybe they'll save it for a future episode of NXT. But whenever it happens, I'm going to be watching because uh, the match they had 
fucking fly or something, I don't know. Uh, the match I had a few weeks ago uh, was amazing. Seriously, it was the best match I've seen Hideo have since he arrived at NXT. It was so good. So good. Tyler Breeze is so... Um, he's, he's shown so much times that he's a brilliant wrestler, you know? I wouldn't say he's underrated like anymore because he's cause he's shown so many times that he's great. Um, it's just a matter of time before he becomes uh, NXT champion. But there's like there's so much guys, you know, there's so much talent in NXT and they all get used so well. Um can't say the same for the main roster, so um but yeah they have so much so much more time. But people don't get used right. Logic. Um But if that much happens I'll say <laughs> I'll say Tyler Breeze will win it. So I'm just gonna go out there, gonna go be gonna be bold, say that he'll win it. Uh, there was something with him and um, that that French guy. I've forgotten his name. That got that got uh, his his hair chopped off. What was his name? Oh yeah, Marcus Louis. Yeah, I found it. Cause I'm on the Wikipedia thing. Uh, there was something where he was like watching Tyler Breeze or something from like weird places in the arena. But I don't know if that's going to continue or not. Um, but feel free to tell me your thoughts and your predictions for this. Um, I'll have a review up, uh, it'll be like the day after, I'm, I'm not staying up for it. I'd like to because, you know, it'll, it, it doesn't connect, it delivers, like uh, Cesaro. Um, I would like to, like I'd say, I'd like to stay up, but, you know, I'm tired enough as it is through the week. Um, so I'll just watch it the day after when I get back from work. Um, it'll be really good. Uh, I feel like I want to say more, but um, I don't really know what else to say. It's really good, though. This will be really, really good. Pre-show, as always, you know, I was just reading who's the who's going to be the guys there. Uh, I'm th I think it was, it was Biden, Saxton, Tensai, Corey Graves, and Renee. Um, so Alex Riley, I was wondering why he wasn't there. Maybe he's going to be commentating it again. Because uh, he's been taken off of the Raw pre-show. David Otonga was on it last, last week. Um was kind of random. So, we'll see, we'll see who's the commentators. They always shake it up each time, which is pretty good. Um, and they're not talking about bloody crap every week, like the, like bloody the main roster does, JBL. References from the 1800s that nobody's heard about. Talking over each other, burying people. Just taking away from the match, you know? Like, like, like you try to focus on the match, and then these guys are really screaming and talking pish. You know, like I can't get into it, you know? Or the, or the match, and that's just completely boring. And then the commenter is crap, you know? You can't really win on the main roster. Not really. Not really. But the, um, did you see the Stone Cold podcast? That's what I want to ask. Did you see that? Because that was really good with Triple H. Triple H even admitted it, you know? Something I've said for ages that Rob being three hours is just too much. He even agreed and said that it's hard to to book three hours of it every time and he would like it to go back to two hours but he said it's a Vince decision so it won't happen because we'll just continue to put out pish each week and he said he wanted the woman to get more of a chance which was awesome to hear but it won't happen because Vince um, such a shame you know I really do wish Triple H would take over pun intended of the main roster I, d I think he would implement more of like what you see at NXT to like Raw and SmackDown. Like oh god, like there's, there's so much talent. Yeah, they, like they don't get used. <laughs> Nowhere near the fullest of abilities, you know. Like Paige and Emma, you know, had an epic match like a year ago at the first NXT uh, special, which was NXT Arrival, February twenty seventh, twenty fourteen, and they haven't had a m you. We haven't had a match anywhere near that, like of that caliber, on the main roster at all. Especially Emma. Like, you, you, you've never seen her in a good match. Paige had some good matches. I'd say her best one was probably against AJ at SummerSlam, and it was only four minutes long, you know? I don't know, I don't know. And also, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd are supposed to win the tag titles. Um, Triple H and that asked them to come up with a name for their thing and they came up with like the Brass Ring Club and they liked it so it looks like uh, like there was rumours that they're gonna 
like win the tag titles um, before WrestleMania at some point, which should be awesome. And be happen at Fastlane. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Something I was gonna say. I got um, Tyson Kidd's uh, uh, his fact dropper T-shirt and Cesaro's King of Swing T-shirt. I ordered it last night. Um, you can get it on uh, redbubble.com, go there, and they sell all kinds of stuff, you know, it's loads of artists have uh, done designs and stuff, and then you can buy them on t-shirts, hats, pillows, hoodies, uh, stickers, paintings, anything, you can you can just get anything, it's it's a brilliant site, and uh, I usually on a Friday I get a, a good sleep and get to sleep early, I wasn't sleeping at like bloody 2 o'clock, I was looking at all these different designs and stuff, it's awesome. Uh, I'm thinking about getting this one. <laughs> uh, it says blood, vomit, urine, repeat, and I looked at it on a on like a little square pillow. It it just looks freaking epic, or maybe like on a hat. I don't know, but it looks so so. It looks hilarious on a on a, on like a little pillow. I might get it. Um, and I'll when I when they arrive, I just ordered the two T-shirts. Um, I'm I'm gonna do like a review on them and show them off because uh, they look awesome. They look, really do. You could get like any color on that you want as well. I just went for you know, black, black, black attack. It looked cool. Um, but that's about it. Uh, a lot more happy this time. A lot more. Um, I don't know. Less ragey because uh, it's NXT. You know, nothing wrong with NXT. It's good. It's awesome. Um, like I said, tell me your predictions. Tell me what you're thinking. It'll be awesome. It'll be really good. Like I want to say more, like just because like I love NXT, I really do. Like I've been talking with so many people about it on, on NX, the NXT videos that WWE uploads. I've got like this thing that I copy and paste now, and like so many people agree with it. Like I'm getting so many likes. Like I'm not going out there begging for likes, you know. I'm just simply stating facts on all these videos, and it's good to see people agreeing. It's good to see NXT getting um, more viewers and exposure or whatever. Like I'd say they. Like say a year ago maybe I could see them being like doubled now. Like NXT is just been on an absolute roll. Like I don't know for sure, but that's I would say it's about that. They probably doubled their viewers like on the network of it. Um. Well, I mean they have obviously thingied with uh uh like subscribers, but you know you you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. And NXT is the shiznit, and more people are like taking notice of it um in like, like there was even that one time on raw people were chanting an NXT what was it uh, I think maybe they were just chanting NXT I don't know and this past week on NXT the fans were chanting better than raw during Hideo Itami and Finn Balor's raw uh Finn Balor's match and they weren't lying it was a fact it's all always going to be better than raw always as long as Vince is in charge NXT will always be better fact fact you know it, people. You know it. Just admit it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I could go on and on about NXT, but I won't. So, I'll see you for my review. Uh, it'll be Thursday. Thursday, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be late my time, anyway. Probably be late. Maybe, like, I don't know. It'll be late, anyway. Near near midnight. Probably by the time it gets uploaded. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like, button, some love. And I'll see you on the next one.